started started uh, I guess <laughs> talking for <laughs> myself, Emily, Jen, and her sister Shannon started War Paint together in 2004. And on Valentine's Day. Yeah, Valentine's Day is our anniversary. That was the first time we played together. Um, it worked really well right away. We all spoke a similar musical language. Uh, we took a trip together to uh, Vancouver and lived in the house up there for a month and a half and wrote a lot of songs. Mm -hmm. and I guess it's been like three years now. We recorded our EP, started playing a lot around LA. For a solid year we played um, shows and did residencies. And at that point, Shannon, her, her sister, wasn't in the band anymore. Um, she recorded the EP with us. So we had a different drummer and started to get to know ourselves as a live band over that year, playing around LA, and then... And we have Stella now. Stella's our new drummer. Stella's our drummer. Stella's our fourth member. <laughs> the others were... In and great. out. They were in and out. They were they were wonderful to play with, but they weren't the, the one that fits with us. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me. Most, it's, a, it's actually only because she's a girl. Stella Bonham, I'm here. Yeah, I know that. I'm totally aware of that. But it's for the most part like mm -hmm. it's there, but the base of it is there. Yeah, mixing is a huge animal to be tamed. It's like a wild animal. We can't wait to find it. And we we don't we don't know <laughs> what it likes to be colors. Yeah. <laughs> what, how it likes to be pet. Yeah. On the chest. Like. Ears, belly. I think Works after touring though, we're also realizing. How wonderful it would be to just have your songs really tight and just barely have any mixing to do or you know just really get record it live. Just record live. Yeah. That was our initial plan but also there is something to be said sometimes for tracking as well. I mean they're both they're just two different ways of going about it and we did that VP too. We're tracked. Yeah and I think that both can be great. It's just a matter of what, what you want. And we're just trying to figure out what we want. We're, we're new to the recording process, really. So we've yet to find out what's best for us or best for a song.
prior to recording that EP, the songs that, that are on the EP existed for quite some time. So mm -hmm. th those songs had like a life of their own and we had time to like develop them. We had years to develop mm -hmm. them really. <laughs> and half of this album is is sort of the same because the, the years, what, it's been four years since we recorded our EP. So in those four years we've written a lot of songs and I would say half of those are going on the full length album but during that time we rotated. Stella came in and kind of put her, not kind of, she put her own flavor on the songs. So it's kind of interesting to see how the songs, how they've evolved over the years. Yeah, so they're kind of a mixture of who we are now and what we've developed into and also how we started and who we were when we started, which is kind of interesting if you think about it. Yeah. It's like the roots of like a pure idea maybe and then now we're much better at putting, forming songs and our energy is a lot more solid in a sense and and our ideas are clearer so it's kind of a great yeah, it's like the yeah. limitations are in there from when we were still just really learning our instruments and and having things, you know, just more simple maybe yeah. ideas. Yeah. And the writing process now is definitely like a lot quicker than what we've experienced in the past. It definitely moves mm -hmm. a lot more rapidly. Mm -hmm. Especially with this little tiger to the right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, everybody separately will bring their idea, but it's a full like one hundred percent collaborative process. Mm -hmm. And an idea that may, like a, a basic song structure that someone might bring will definitely be added to and enhanced and another part may be introduced even because of something that, some baseline that Jen comes up with and then it's like, oh well we should break right here and just have it be the bass and drums and so then there's a part happening there that wasn't in the original skeleton and so all of our songs get morphed in that way. Yeah, there's a lot of trust too in the in the idea. The collaborative efforts being, you know, just all of us contributing always makes it better. And everyone yeah. trusts each other's collaborations, which is really nice. <laughs> yeah, we actually, it's really hard sometimes for us to narrow down the ideas. <laughs> We're like, well, what about this change? What about this change? What about this part? <laughs> what about this? <laughs> I can do this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then by that time, our song is 10 minutes long and it's really boring for somebody by the end, maybe. It depends on what kind of person you are. We're down. <laughs> but, we're into it. <laughs> then we have to whittle them down to the, to the best. There's just so many choices. Yeah, I think that's a byproduct of the democratic process. Because there's so many ideas. And Everybody wants to be heard. Mm -hmm. They're all great ideas, so we don't really know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Genius. 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 Genius.